I just had two, two real brief things to say. I'm really thankful for Colette. Um, she's given me a new beginning. I just had two things to say. One, one was when I was in seventh grade, my music teacher at that time said, you'll never sing. You're just no good. And so, okay. We all have those experiences, I'm sure. Um, the second thing that I wanted to say was that I'm so glad that my brother Tom is here today. Tom uh, had a hemorrhagic uh, intracranial uh, stroke about two and a half months ago. And he's back home right now. And he's here this morning. <laughs> In a sense, both Tom and I have been, um, in a sense, we've been born again. Yeah. We have another chance to, uh, to do something different. And um, I'm, I'm a veteran from uh, the Vietnam War, and I'm, I was a medic. And uh, today, I want to sing a song to all of you about a, a morning cry. And it, it speaks to every generation. Um, but I especially think of it in the sense of a grandfather, or, but also as a father, who's there with you wherever you are. So if you, wherever you are in your life, you're making transitions, you're moving from one stage of your life to another. And I always want to quote Mahatma Gandhi saying, live and, and, and uh, love and learn, uh, even until you die. My song this morning is, I was there, to hear your morning cry. In the middle. 